welcome back to part 8 of our Borders series. Fully recharged, we've crossed the border from England into Scotland and are now 12 miles north of Jedburgh. So we're just leaving the car park behind us and a uh, little bit of a walk through a forest and then to William Wallace's, uh, Sir William Wallace's statue. It's a scale. It's a big tree. It's a big tree. <laughs> Old tree. There's many a story to tell. A bit like Adventure Van Freddy. It's funny, uh, since moving since moving to France, um, looking at the difference in terrain, you won't believe that a country that's so close to Britain would be so, so different. When you come back home, the grasses are so, so vibrant in the UK compared to uh, other parts of Europe. The green, green grass of home. Protected as a Category B monument, the William Wallace statue near to Melrose in the Scottish Borders is built of pink sandstone and was commissioned by the 11th Earl of Buchan in 1814. Wallace was appointed as a guardian of Scotland in 1297 after his victory at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, but was defeated a year later and executed for high treason in London in 1305. Down the bottom of the hill by uh, Sir William Wallace, there's another statue, Statue of the Muses. You want a gate like that? I do. I'd like a gate like that into the entrance of our house. <laughs> You're bigger than the house. <laughs> That's all you disappointed they'd be when they go through the other side. Still on the search. We've been walking down a hill for a long time now. We have. That means we've got a long way to go back up. You have, I'm going to wait down here. Oh, okay. So it's really nice. Uh, to be fair, have a spot of lunch and then go for a walk, burn it off. This is a very, very beautiful area down here, that's for sure. We found it. And over in the background, over my shoulder there, is Sir William Wallace looking down on it all. You see him up there in the cutting. There you go.
a short walk downhill from the Wallace Monument, overlooking the River Tweed, is a pretty rotunda named the Temple of the Muses. In Greek mythology, the Muses lived with Apollo on Mount Parnassus and were patrons of poetry. Buchan, an avid fan of poetry and James Thompson in particular, topped the rotunda with a statue of the poet. There is no mention of an architect and it is believed to be the work of Buchan himself along with his favoured stonemason John Smith of Darnick. So again, the way to find these locations is simply go to Google Maps, click on Attractions on your mobile device and then it will show up everything around you. Ooh, we're well on Footbridge, oh. there's favourite over water. Yay! A double favourite. And so the journey back uphill begins. Taxi! Oh my god. <laughs> Just felt, felt my legs starting to burn then. I've only walked up that bit. <laughs> Don't, there's dog poo in there. Payback! <laughs> and it went down my back. I know a bit's gone down my back. <laughs> Made it back towards the top. There's, a, uh, there's an old saying that has been stuck with me for, for, for years, and that is. If a man is judged by the friends he keeps, then I must be the luckiest man around. And I've just met someone that's been on this channel almost from word dot. His name's uh, Stephen. Um, it's just amazing. We're so, so, so lucky to have such oh, great we subscribers we and, are. and friends. A, yeah, yeah, definitely a friend. Definitely. Friend for life, that's yeah. for sure. And you're welcome anywhere we are. <laughs> Anytime. Any, anytime. Anytime. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so, Thank so, you. so much.
never fails to amaze me just how beautiful this part of the world is. And you'd have heard me say it many times before, Norway, you know, all across Scandinavia, that's some truly magnificent views, but there's something just absolutely magical about Scotland. The way and how quick the landscapes change and how diverse and how vibrant they are, just completely incredible. And we're now at a place called Scots View. Simply uh, breathtaking. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? There's so much to do as soon as you come into Scotland and now we're at a, a viaduct and it's uh, beautiful, some lovely light on the bricks at the moment and Claire's gone straight in to take a picture, boom and the light's just fading now so I want to quickly spin you around. How beautiful is that? So, the three bridges. One, two, three. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm clicking to see Claire in the distance taking a picture. It's a little bit sad with a modern roadway bridge being in direct view of this old, not too, not too sure how old it is, bridge. It's a little bit of a shame that the modern road bridge is there. But never mind. So there's a way to get rid of the other bridge and that's to get down low and take a photo. And that's what Claire's doing and I'm gonna do right now. There you go. Three bridges. Oh, so I have an absolute fantastic day. Tea time. Let's go and uh, find a park up and have something to eat. So good evening folks. Um, this is where we are on the map. This is just a forestry car park and that's where we're going to stay for the night. So we can meet up again and spend some time with Stephen, one of our subscribers that we've met here 
today and then uh, we'll continue on with our ad adventure, our small adventure up here on the borders and to above and beyond. Yes, over in the uh, background there, you can walk all the way through there as well, probably do that in the morning. Um, but now it's dinner time, we need to get our Chinese ready pork out of the fridge. I think tonight, oh look, nice little kitchen area here, that will do. Why? Well I was thinking, door shut. Yeah but it's Belly pork. Yeah, but there's a lot of no see -ums, otherwise known as Scottish, ne -fe -fe -fe, Scottish midges. I'm not afraid of a midge. I am. I think we'll cook out here quickly because mm. they're going to be very fatty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, make a deal. Yep. You cook out there. Yep. I'll get the rice ready in here. Yep. We keep the door closed while you cook. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and then we'll eat it in here with the door closed. Okay. Because they eat me. Deal. Okay, go. Whichever you would like. Yep. Tell you what folks, there's absolutely worse things to do in life and get a van, travel as much as you can, as much as your petrol budget allows and you find, we're speaking to a couple in the um, big blue Mercedes and they're saying that how um, um, materialistic living in a van makes you. And I totally, totally get it. Can't these smell great already. These are one of my favourites, folks. Chinese style. Put some of that on there. Last check. I would say they're done. Tammy, I'll try and give you the chunkiest one. It's got to be that one there. I love any. Whoa. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Flop. <Sorry. laughs> Flop. Mm. Okay. It's a bit of a, a mash up, mix up, whatever you want to call it, of a dinner tonight. We have Chinese pork chops, pilau rice, um, peas, carrots, Ruined. and sweet corn. <laughs> Ruined. But just the one pot, so the pilau, rice, the peas, carrot and sweet corn have all gone in together. Apparently it's ruined, but I'm sure it will still be edible. Pilau rice, pilau rice ruined by carrots and sweet corn. <laughs> Never mind, as Claire says. It will still taste nice. So we've just been for a walk up, up there. Uh, it's a forestry road right at the end is a bit of a, a field so i've been for a walk up there but now we've come down here and there's a big old boy in the uh, in the field here hey mind your head mind your head well some of them the modges that was attracted i oh, know lots <laughs> of midges seams. scottish midges yeah. okay. you gonna let me stroke you or not <laughs> he sneezed on you, you didn't like that. Oh, yeah. Hello. He looks pretty small down there because we're on a slope, but he is massive. He is huge. 
You want a massive hole going you? across him here, all across his neck. You could push through that if you wanted to, couldn't you? Hey. He'd flatten us all. Yeah. His muscle. Muscle. Reminds me a lot about myself. We've got a lot in common. I met you in the summer. Many thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. So if you'd like to support us, please click the buy me a coffee link in our video description or in our social media bios. And we'll see you on the road soon.